Uh, hello everyone uh, welcome to memoni youtube channel like the question is did memoni leak the neat 2021 question paper uh, obviously not but if the questions asked in neat 2021 were already directly or indirectly present in memoni yes that's true in the biology section we thankfully found that around 80 questions out of 90 questions which were asked in NEET 2021 were directly asked from MemoNEET. So I'm going to show a small sample of uh, the analysis and I will also leave a sheet in the description of this video for you guys to see and compare, you know, how many questions which came in the NEET 2021 biology section were directly present in MemoNEET directly or indirectly. Okay. Uh, sounds good. So without wasting much time, we will get into the video. So now if you look at botany, so I'm taking code N3 as a example. So now if I take which one of the following algae produces carrageens. So, so this is a question, question number 101. I see that it's the 45th question in diversity of living world plant kingdom algae. So I'll just go to memory tab. So I'll go to diversity in living world, the plant kingdom, algae. And I'll have to go to question number 45. Okay. So if you look at this match the following question, so you can easily uh, answer this question. So if anyone who have practiced this question will see, will know that the answer is red algae. So if you have also followed the revision algorithm with which you at least practice every question minimum seven times, there is no way that this question would have gone out of your memory. So you would have definitely scored this four marks easily okay so the next question basically is um genera like selaginella and salvinia produce two kinds of spores such plants are known as okay this is question number 102 i see that it is in three uh diversity in living world plant kingdom pterophytes so i will just go to um diversity in living world pterophytes and then there is question number 20. So just go to question number 20. So now you see the heterosporous pteridophytes are Selaginella and Salvinia. So if you have practiced this question in this way, so they have just asked it in the opposite way. So there's no way that you could have got it wrong. So the heterosporous pteridophytes. The answer is heterosporous, and we could easily see that here in the question paper. The answer is heteros heterosporous. There you go. So I answer three. Okay. So the next thing is question number 103 where which of the following are not secondary metabolites in plants okay this is a simple question so if you look at question number 103 it's present in 90402 like cell structure and functions biomolecules so i'll just go to that section cell structure and functions i will go to uh, cell structure and functions biomolecules and primary cell and in that I'll have to go to question number two probably. so if you see this question which among the following isn't a primary metabolite okay so the answer to this question is actually been blasted but if you look at these options clearly so there's amino acid which we see that it is a primary metabolite right basically like it's clear that if this is not the right answer it is a primary metabolite because the question asks which among the following isn't a primary metabolite right basically so now if you have practiced this question again and again, if you have gone through the options, you already know that amino acid is a primary metabolite. So now when you look at this question, you can see that which of the following are not secondary metabolites in plants. And now option one, amino acids, comma, glucose, you can easy, you know that this is a primary metabolite. So which of the following are not secondary metabolites in plants, you can easily answer one because you already know it's not a secondary metabolite, it's a primary metabolite. So that's done. That's very easy. So question number 104 mutation in plant cells can be induced by okay so question number 104 it's in 31104 biology and human welfare strategies for enhancement in food production so we'll just go to biology and human welfare we'll just close this here and we'll go to biology in human welfare and uh, what was the section biology and human welfare strategies for enhancement for food in food production 
and uh, uh, plant breeding and disease resistance so i have to go to plant breeding and disease resistance microtopic and in that i have to check for question number uh, 24 probably yeah 24 so let's go to question number 24 if you see which of the following is generally used for induced mutagenesis in crop plants so let's compare with the question so mutations in plant cells can be induced by so that's actually the question okay so now when you look at memory so you could see which of the following is generally used for induced mutagenesis in crop plants so the question is actually similar just the wordings are different so if i click comma raise that's actually the right answer okay if you have practiced this question in memo need minimum seven times using the revision algorithm it's easy pc that you would have got the four marks exactly okay now the next thing is um question number 105 if i go to question number 105 it's when gene targeting uh involving gene amplification is attempted in an individual's tissue to treat disease it is known as this is a question so when you when you go to the sheet you see that question number 105 which in biotechnology and its applications gene therapy so we'll go to memo neat uh we'll continue we'll close this micro topic and we'll go to biotechnology there is biotechnology um, there you go biotechnology and its applications and uh, gene therapy where is gene therapy okay in that it's question number two so just more to question two. so it is a color it is a collection of methods that allows correction of a gene defect that has been diagnosed in a child or embryo here genes are inserted into a person's cells and tissues to treat a disease so this method is called as so this is actually a question so let's compare it with the uh, this question here so when gene targeting involved gene amplification is attempted in individuals tissue to treat disease it is known as they're the asking um the gene when gene targeting involving gene amplification is attempted in an individual tissue to treat a disease it is known as so that's actually the question so if you look at this so they say that you know genes are inserted to person cells or tissues to treat a disease so this is the keyword here so what is what is the uh, name for that uh, that's what they're asking so pro it's like gene th gene therapy right so if i click on gene therapy it's the right answer so the genes inserting of genes in a person cells to treat a disease so this method is called as gene therapy so if you have practiced this question like seven times minimum you could have easily easy pc got this four marks okay like this i have this old sheet here we've also mentioned the questions that were not asked in memory but they were also not from ncrt they were out out of ncrt most of the time so it's not possible for us to you know cover those questions but easily like if you have if you have followed memo need and you have used the revision algorithm um like uh, per se like if i have to show you the revision algorithm if you're looking memo need for the first time I could show you the revision algorithm where basically uh, this is the practice section where you know you study a question and it will go to your temporary memory and then right now I have 85 questions here so if I again go and practice this 85 questions it will move to a short term memory and I keep on revising it to move it in several levels of my memory so that finally it will go to my retrieving stored memory. Okay, so when it's in my retrieving stored memory, there's no way that on the D-Day of the NEET 2021 examination, I'm going to forget these lines. So as physics is uh, getting tougher and tougher, it's very critical for everyone in NEET 2021 to really focus on biology and to score maximum marks as possible. Because in the current competition, you shouldn't lose any mark in biology. You should try to make as maximum marks as possible. So you have to. And also another good thing about memory is that it's very structured every topic every line of ncrt is covered and that's the reason why we have almost 80 questions from NEET 2021 asked in memory and also if you look at our questions they're probably not only mcqs right you have these type of questions if you if an average student study for like 30 minutes you know for one session because we also everyone have distractions right but if you use memo need i could guarantee you that will double the time of your study say for example you study 30 minutes at a stretch but if you use memo need you can easily study up to one hour if you are a 30 minutes 
person right so it's very fun and interesting for you to uh, because the more is like gamification but trust me there is n- there's not even a word that is out of ncrt that is asked with this app so whatever you do with it how much of a time is you spend with this app this is going to be worth it so i would suggest you guys to go ahead click the link in the description and download the memo neat app and uh, make maximum use of it and all the best for the neat 2022 aspirants uh, to ace neat using uh, memo neat uh thank you everyone and have a great day